Good day, grade 9 students. I am going to discuss to you today about modeling real-life situations using quadratic functions. And lesson two, we have quadratic functions. So what are our competencies here? So our learning competencies here are the learners must be able to model real-life situations using quadratic functions and to be able to represent a quadratic function using letter A, table of values, letter B, equation, letter C, graph. Okay, so what do you need to understand here? So we have in lesson one, we have modeling real life situations using quadratic functions. So one of the, the important topics in, in mathematics is the quadratic function because of its many application related to human life. So in this module, module rather, you will be able to, or in our lesson now, you'll be able to identify real life situations that model quadratic functions. Okay, so we have here in mathematics. So the word quadratic, quadratic refers to expressions, equations, and functions containing one or more terms in which the variable is raised to the power of two, but no terms in which it is raised to a highest exponent. Okay, so this is an example. Okay, this is a quadratic function wherein the highest exponent is 2. That's the exponent or the power. And, it, and then it is a function that can be written in the form of f of x equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Or f of x can be also written as y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, B, and C are real numbers, and A must not be equal to zero. Okay, it is very important that A must not be equal to zero. Okay, so here are examples of quadratic function and not quadratic functions. So as you can see here, if it is function, it is in the form of y or f of x. But in this case, we are we have y. y is equals to x squared minus 8x. So the highest exponent here is 2. The same process here. I mean the same as the number 2 example. y is also equals to negative 5x squared plus 3x minus 1. So the highest exponent again is 2. Here the same. So we have y equals x squared plus 3. And your highest exponent there is 2. That's why, that's why it is called quadratic function. From here, in, our, in other example here on the other side, we have not quadratic because the highest exponent here is 1. Here the highest Aside from having 2, they're still higher than 2, and that is 3. So, it is not anymore a quadratic. And this one doesn't have the variable raised to the power of 2, and this is just constant. Okay. So, these are examples of not quadratic functions. So, observe the given illustration at the right if you are... To take a small ball, okay, so a small ball, toss it in the air and catch, and catch it with the other hand at the same height. Okay, so what do you think will be the path of the ball? Okay, so the 
path of the ball. Okay, if you will transfer that ball to the other side like that. So, what do you think will be the path of the ball? So, the path of the ball describes a curve. That's why when you do that like when you do it like this, it is a curve path which is in U shape called parabola. Okay, it is a new shape called parabola. It is a smooth curve. It should be a smooth curve that shows the graph of a quadratic function. So the graph of the quadratic function is a smooth curve which is in new shape called parabola okay that's it sample is illust illustrations i mean of quadratic functions so these are examples of quadratic functions graph of quadratic functions we have a smooth curve smooth curve okay smooth curve and smooth curve or in new shape okay this is a smooth curve okay another smooth curve so these are examples of quadratic functions graph of quadratic functions so here are points to ponder Arch architect i mean I architectural i mean structures <laughs> are arcs in churches Okay, these are architectural structures. You can find arcs in churches, houses, and bridges. The cross-section of the object satellite of the reflector is a flashlight. I mean, in a flashlight, the path, okay, the satellite dish of the reflector in a flashlight. Flashlight, right? Here. You can see that uh the, the head of the flashlight right that there is a reflector there it's like a satellite dish so it is also an example of um u-shape or a parabola then the path of thrown object upward are all considered as real life applications that can be modeled with a quadratic function Okay, like the example earlier, which is a ball throwing from one hand to the other one, to the other side. Okay, so we have here um, question number one, self-guided question. Okay, name at least three concrete examples that model quadratic functions at least three concrete examples that models quadratic function you can just find it around your locality or in your place name at least three how will the concept of quadratic function be of help to you in the near future so how will the concept of this of the quadratic function will be of help to you. Ano kaya? Ano kaya ang um, saan kaya pwede tong gamitin in the future? Okay. Next. So, we have here activity number one. Four pictures in one word. Answer the question using the four pictures as clues. So, these are the questions. I mean, the, the given pictures. In this activity, you will answer the question by guessing the phrase described in the picture. Okay, so we have here this one, this, as you can see, this one, and this one. So what shape does a general quadratic function suggest? Okay, as you can see here, what shape, what shape? does a general quadratic suggest okay so you just 
use the letters here to guess. Okay. To guess the, pra the phrase. Okay. So, as you can see from the picture, what does or what shape does a general quadratic function suggest? Okay. You just write your answer in the book. Next, activity two, know my history. So you're going to identify the quadratic function and shade the rectangle, the rectangle. Okay, like for example, this one is a rectangle. Shade. So in this activity, you will identify quadratic functions. Now, uh, which of the following functions above are quadratic? Okay, which of the following functions i mean on the side are quadratic so you have you are going to shade the rectangle write the letter of the shaded box sequentially from left to right on the given lines okay sequentially write the letter so you're going if you're going to shade this one you're going also to to write it here so if you shade first this one, then you will write it here. Okay. So you have to write it sequentially. It means in, in arranged form, in order. From left to right. Okay. From left to right. So if you're going to, for example, if you have here... If you shaded this one, so you have to write it on the first. The letter R will be on the first. Okay. So from left to right. So always uh, write the letters on the left first before you nasa right. Okay. Okay, going back there. Okay, like that. So you, if, for example, you will shade this one or like this, this one. So R first, then if you shade another one here, so it should be R, then M, then another. What if you, if you don't, if you, if you think that this is not, so therefore we'll start here. So if this is the next one, then that will be the next here. Then ito na naman, kung shade mo to, then yun ang next. It is always from left to right. Okay, so that's it. Mm -hmm. So, it, it has a note here. Did you know he is credited for discovering that the ellipse parabola and hyperbola are sections of a cone produced by the section of a plane with the surface of a cone. So, ito daw yun. Ito daw yun. Uh, the, that person who discovered parabola also credited for discovering the ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola that are section of a cone produced by the intersection of a plane with a surface of a cone. So, yun do yun. Activity 3. You're going to mark, check, on the picture that models quadratic function in this activity. So, you will identify picture that models quadratic functions. So, you just put check there, which identify pictures, which you think picture that pictures models quadratic functions ito ba nagmo-model ba to ng quadratic function this one ba is neba models a quadratic function okay just put check meron gen box just put check on the box or if you don't have the if you don't have the answer sheet you just write the name Okay, you just 
I think you will just write quadratic functions, then write all the names here. Then not quadratic function, then write all the names of the pictures here. So you just write quadratic functions, then write all the names. Kahit wala na yung isa, kahit wala na yung not quadratic, kahit sa quadratic function lang. You can just use, just write quadratic function, then just put like number one, uh, week one, number two, pasunangka three, something like that. If you don't have the assessment or activity sheets. Then, so what are things or the key points to remember? Parabola, parab parabola is a smooth curve that shows the graph of a quadratic function. Quadratic refers to expressions, equations, and functions containing one or more i, one or more terms rather, in which the variable is raised to the power of two. U shaped the shape of a real life situation that models quadratic functions. Okay, U shape. Okay, so let's see how much have you learned from the lesson. So study the following assessment carefully and write your answers on the separate sheet if you have the separate sheets. Okay, since you don't have the assessment sheets, so you're going to write it on a separate sheets. So, assessment one, you just choose if it is quadratic or not. Okay, so direction find or determine 10 quadratic functions written in standard form, which is in this form. Okay, so... 10 quadratic functions written in this form on the given puzzle and encircle it. So, answer may be found horizontally. So, pwede pa ganyan. Pwede vertically. Pwede vertically. Pwede rin diagonally. Okay? Pwede rin pa ganyan. Pa ganyan. Pwede rin diagonal. Pwede rin pa ganyan. Pwede rin pa ganyan. Okay? So, Pwede horizontal, vertical, pwede diagonal. As long as, okay, it is a quadratic function. So, if you don't have the, okay, if you don't have the assessment sheet, you can, you can draw this table and encircle the quadratic functions. Or, okay. So that's it. I will not suggest to just write the quadratic functions, but much better if you will just really encircle it. So what you can do is write the table and then just encircle the quadratic functions. 10 quadratic functions in the form of y equals, it must, it must have the y, y equals a x squared plus b x plus c it should be in this form wherein the highest exponent is two next assessment two highlight at least five figures that models parabola just encircle the shape of the parabola okay in this picture so just in circle, like for example, kahit ano dyan na makikita nyo, it's like a parabola, just in circle, the shape. So a lot of shape there, you just in circle. Okay. Next. Okay, here. Did you know? Okay, we have a history here. United States has colonized the Philippines during the early early days. So in 1905 or 1905, a Zamboanga City Hall was built, then later become or became the seat of government of the Department of 
Mindanao and Sulu. Then by 1937, it started functioning as the Zamboanga City Hall. Okay. Now we learned something today. It's history about Zamboanga City Hall. Now assessment three, draw me a picture. So the direction here, draw five real life pictures that models quadratic function that you can see in your community or locality that is within your community or locality so ano kaya makikita nyo dyan sa mga lug sa lugar nyo dyan lang sa barangay nyo sa city nyo okay that models with quadratic function you just draw kung ano yung nakita nyo that models a quadratic function in your locality kung if you're living in like for example in Tiktapul what can you see um, models I mean picture okay you just draw a picture that you could see there within your locality that models quadratic functions okay so you're going to draw five and then name and write little description of your illustration like for example sample number one ano yung dinadraw mo okay you have to write the name here and give a little of description you have to describe ano ba yun okay the same with number two up to number five assessment four my dream house given the house enhance it Enhance it with architectural designs by using models of quadratic functions. Also, you may add fences and other models within the area of your house. So, you have to enhance it with architectural design by using the models of quadratic functions. So, when we say quadratic functions, it involves curves, smooth curves. So, so you have to enhance this house using models of quadratic functions you can add fences also and other designs there okay then lesson two we have here quadratic functions what is a quadratic function quadratic function is a second degree function that can be written in the form of f of x equals ax squared plus px plus c where a b and c are real numbers the first term is always the ax squared and a must not be equal to zero okay so a quadratic function is a second degree function that can be written in this form wherein the first term is always the ax squared or the quadratic term and a must not be equal to zero so the following are examples of quadratic functions so number one we have here so always the quadratic for quadratic terms comes first this is your ax squared this is your ax squared ax squared ax squared ax squared ax squared the next term is your term with x then the last one will be your constant so these are examples of quadratic functions the following are not quadratic function let's see here these are not quadratic functions okay because the first term should be ax squared so walang exponent to john so this one also the exponent is not 2 the exponent is x here also the exponent is 3 so again it should be a second degree so the exponent must be 2 here my 2 but you still have 1 outside so multiplying this 2 because that is multiplication the exponent becomes 3 
So therefore, the highest exponent is 3. That is not a second degree function. Okay. So we have the general form of quadratic function. The general form of quadratic function, okay, this one or this one. So these are the general form. It can be written as f of x equals to ax squared plus bx plus c or y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Then the first term in the quadratic function ax squared is called the quadratic term. bx or the second term is called the linear term. Linear term. And c, this one here, is called the constant term. Again, the ax squared here is called the quadratic term. The bx is called the linear term. And your c is called the constant term. Okay. How does a quadratic function be re represented using a table of values? Okay, let us make a table of values of y equals to x squared plus 2x plus 1. So, in step 1, you're, good, you're just, I mean, we're going to assign different values of x. You can let this to be negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. But you can start any you can assign, I mean, any number or any values for x. You can start with 0, you can start with 3, you can start with like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You can start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But from this example, it started with negative 3. So negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. Okay, so to find y, Okay, so we have to make a table. You have f of x and your y. f of x, which is equal to y. So we can just write f of x or y. So to find y, we just substitute the assigned values of x in the equation. Okay, so your equation is x squared plus 2x plus 1. If we let x to be negative 3, Okay, your x is negative 3. Negative 3 replace x by negative 3 get raised to an exponent 2 plus plus 2 times negative 3 plus 1. Then negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 1. So 9 plus 1 is 10. Minus 6 is Four. Okay, that's why when x is negative 3, your y is 4. Next, how about when x is negative 2? Just replace the x by negative 2. So, negative 2 raised to an exponent 2 plus 2 times your x is negative 2 plus 1. Negative 2 times negative 2 will give you positive 4. 2 times negative 2 will give you negative 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. Minus 4 is 1. Okay. So therefore, when x is negative 2, your y is 1. If x is negative 1, how about if your x is negative 1? So just replace the value of x by 1, negative 1. Negative 1 squared plus 2, your x is negative 1 plus 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, minus 2 is 0. So therefore, when x is negative 1, your y is 0. How about if x is 0? If your x is 0, just replace x by 0. 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus 1. So we have 0 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1. 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1. That's why when x is 0, your y is 1. So what if x is equals to 1? 
just replace x by 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 1. 1 squared is 1, 2 times 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. So this is 4. That's why we have here when x is 1, your y is 4. So you have now a table. So based from your equation, you can also write that equation. Okay. Based from that equation, you can make a table of values from there by assigning different values of x. And this is now our table of values. You call that as table of values. Next, from num number two, okay, step three. From the table of values, get the difference by subtracting the preceding term by the previous value, such as, okay, 2, okay, so we will start from here, preceding value, we'll start from here, okay, so 4 minus 1 is 3, 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Okay, so that's the first difference. So to get the first differences, okay, the first differences, you have to start from right. Okay, so from right, like 4 minus 1 is 3. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1 is negative 1, 1 minus 3 is negative, and minus 4 rather is negative 3. Get the second differences. Again, we will subtract 3 minus 1, 2. 1 minus the negative of 1, okay, 2. Negative 1 plus negative 3, I mean minus negative 3. Okay, negative 1 minus negative 3, because negative 3 precedes by negative, this will become positive. So, positive ito, negative ito, magiging, or you're going to subtract, and that will become positive too. So, what can you say about the second differences? Okay, you could see the first differences in y is unequal. Okay, so here, an equal. The second difference is, the second difference is equal to non-zero constant 2. So, the second differences niya are, are the same, which is equals to 2. So, therefore, this is a quadratic function. So, I, okay, going back. So, again, how will you know? that the table of values is or represents a quadratic function or illustrates quadratic function. Just get the second differences. If the second differences are equal, therefore, that table of values illustrate quadratic functions. Okay? But if the second differences are not equal, therefore, that table of values doesn't illustrate quadratic functions. Okay, next. Quadratic function in a given table of values. A table of values is said to be quadratic if the second difference is in y yields and no zero constant value. Non-zero constant value too. Okay, non-zero constant value, which is this one. Okay, next. How does a quadratic function be represented using a graph? Okay, step one, using the table of values. Okay, you have to list down the ordered pair. So, using the table of values here, you can make an ordered pair. Negative 3, 4, negative 2, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 4. If you're going to write it in ordered pair, it should be... It should be like this. Negative 3 and 4. Negative 2, 1. Negative 1, 0. 0, 1. 1, 4. So these are called ordered pairs. We got this one from the table of values. Okay. 
Then, just plot the points. Negative 3, okay? Negative 3, 4. Okay, this is your 0. 1, 2, 3. Okay, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. But they started at negative 2. Oh, in a second. Where is it? Negative. Ah, okay. The x axis is here. Zero. Where's the zero one? Where's the quadratic function there? I mean the x axis. Oh. Negative 2, 1. Where's negative 2, 1? This, if this is your 0, oh my, okay, so this one, something wrong with this, give me seconds, when x is negative 3, okay, since your vertex is at this one, so this must be in seconds. We will go back there. Okay. Your x is your y is zero. Okay, one zero. So somewhere here. Okay, zero one. Okay, let's try. Negative 2, okay. Your vertex is somewhere, I mean, the turning point it is negative 1, 0. So maybe. What's the number? Hindi kasi claro yung x axis at saka y axis dito. Okay, but ang nilagay dyan is this one. This one is 0, 0 if you have this one. And this is um 1. 1, negative 1, I mean 1, positive 1, 1 and 1, and this is negative 1, 1. So, dapat dito banda ang x-axis. So that, if it is 0, then it is 1. Janihan. So, if this is 0 here, somewhere dito, okay? If this is 0, 0. When x is 0, your y is 1. When x is negative 1, your y must be 0. My gosh. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll start with negative 3. For example, 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. If negative 3, it should be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, kung dito naman, pero nandito ang y-axis, oh. So, may something wrong with this, with the graph, okay? So, please check the graph, okay? You're going to plot the points, make your make your own graph here okay so you're going to plot these points on the graph okay make another quadratic and this one so if you're going to use this one okay when x is negative and okay we have to put because that is the center so this one this is your x axis this is your y axis if this is the given Negative 2, 1. Saan ang negative 2, 1? Ito ang negative 2. Dito ang 1. So, itong point mali yan dyan. Then, when x is... When x is 1, when x is 1, if this is your 1, your y is 4. So, dapat doon yan sa taas. 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Dapat dito, na, dito yan ang point. So, something wrong with this. May mali dito sa graph. So, please. So, 
check this out you just plot the points again okay so that's it so the graph of the quadratic function is a parabola but this one is not the graph of this okay so you can change this one so start you can let this to be zero one two three four this negative one negative two negative three okay if negative three okay we will start from here if this is negative three here your y is four so someone two three four so the point must be here if it is negative two your y is one so your point somewhere here okay dito yan then when x is negative one your y is zero so dito yan then when x is zero your y is one so dito yan dito yan banda ang point and then when x is one your y should be 2, 3, 4. Dito banda. So, yung graph nyo dapat dito yan. Ganyan. Ganyan. Okay. Dapat dito yan ang graph nyo. Okay. So, something wrong with this graph. So, dapat maglagay kayo ng labels dito. Kung saan yung origin Pero dito, as you can see, ito talaga ang origin because this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. So, please check on this. This is not the graph. Okay, this is not the graph. Okay, next. Quadratic function represented using graph. The graph of a quadratic function is a u-shape called parabola parabolas may open either upward or downward when a quadratic function is in the form of y equals to a x squared plus b x plus c the value of okay the value of a okay the value of a this must be in uh, italic form the value of a it means the value of a here determines the opening of the parabola so the value of a there determines the opening of the parabola if it is either upward or downward a parabola opens upward if the value of a is greater than zero or when a is positive if it is greater than zero the, therefore of course the value of a r positive a parabola opens downward okay opens downward when the value of a is less than zero or when a or the value of a is negative if the value of a is negative therefore the parabola opens downward if the value of a is positive or greater than zero therefore the parabola opens upward okay what makes the function quadratic okay, so you have to uh, write your answer there what makes the function quadratic how do you tell if the function is quadratic given a table of values but given a table of values how do you know that it is a quadratic function I mean, it illustrates quadratic function. What if the given is an equation? Paano mo malalaman na quadratic if given an equation? Paano mo malalaman din if the graph is a quadratic? They just explain there. Okay, next. So, we have activity here. Determine which of the following represents a quadratic function. Write QF. If it is a quadratic function and write not qf if it is not quadratic function so write your answer here so just write if it is if it is quadratic function then then just write qf if it is not then not qf f i mean okay next 
this one. Number six here, how is this or is this table of values represents or illustrate quadratic functions? QF or not QF? The same as the same process with number seven, number eight, or similar with number six. Now seven and eight similar to number six. And number five, what it's a graph. Is is this a graph of quadratic function or not? Is this a graph of quadratic function or not? So just see right. Just write rather QF or not QF. Quadratic or not quadratic. So what are the points to remember or the key points? So quadratic function represents by an equation, a table of values, and a graph. A function f is a function, I mean is a quadratic if it is a second degree function in the form of f of x equals to ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are real numbers and a must not be equal to 0. The table of values represents quadratic function even, even equal differences in x yields an equal or yeah, an equal second differences in y dapat in y in y n. Second differences in y then the table of values is a quadratic function. So but the first differences now x are equal, then it yields also equal second differences in y. Therefore, the table of values is a quadratic function. The graph of a quadratic function is a parabola that may open either upward or downward. It is open upward if the value of a is greater than 0 or positive. It is open downward if the value of a is less than zero or negative okay so let's have this one let's see how much have you learned from this lesson from our discussion rather okay so you're going to determine which of the following represents a quadratic function okay just right here qf for quadratic function not qf if it is not quadratic function so write your answer here. So just write QF and not QF. Okay, then here, read the statement carefully. Uh, write true if the statement is true. Write false if the statement is wrong. Write your answer on the space before each number. So here, Carlo described quadratic function as a function in the power of two. Is it false or true? Another, Rodel coached Jenny that graph of y is y equals 5x squared minus 5x plus 6 is a parabola. Is it true or false? Carol claimed that the four, uh, from the table of values, the second difference is in y is negative 2. So you have to find out if the second difference is, is negative 2. Then if it is negative 2, then it's true. If it's not, then not or false. Claire wrote, wrote on the board that the first term of the quadratic function is always ax squared. Is it true or false? Uh, May was a uh, task to compare y equals to 5x plus 4 and y equals to x squared minus 7x. She said that both y equals 5x plus 4 and y equals x squared minus 7x are quadratic functions. Is it true or false? Both thou are quadratic functions. In assessment two, okay, given the table of values, plot and connect the points and describe the graph. Okay. You let any of the line to be your, for you to graph this function, I mean this table of values, you have to put the y-axis and the x-axis first okay so you have to write first where is your x-axis and where is your y-axis then label okay like for example if this is the center then this is your positive one negative one negative two negative three negative four and so going up we have positive one two three four like that going down then you have negative one negative two and so on you just refer 
to quadratic functions, I mean, Cartesian plane, I mean, Cartesian plane. Use the Cartesian plane as here, provided, provided but you could, you could have your Cartesian plane or you can use um, graphing paper for this one. And then you just plot the point. Okay, first coordinate, second coordinate, third coordinate or third point. You have first point, second point, third point, fourth, and fifth. After plotting this one, connect. Then plot again, plot again, plot, plot. But you cannot plot if you don't have the Cartesian plane. You have to set first where is your y-axis and where is your x-axis and your center. Okay, next. So therefore, you're going after graph, after graphing this one, you have to describe your graph and write it here. Describe your graph. Okay, next, assessment three. Given the table of values, determine whether the function is quadratic or not. Show the complete solution in determining determining the function. So how will you know that this table of values is is or determine a function or quadratic or not determining if it is quadratic or not so we have examples earlier how to know that table of values is quadratic or not we just follow the examples okay that's it that's all for today i hope you learned something and you can answer your modules thank you so much and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel so you'll be updated in the coming videos okay